Howdy, welcome back to my Let's Play Soul Blazer! Uh, blind. Okay, uh, last time I, uh, anyway, let's just go here. Last time I did stuff, this time we're gonna, uh, do stuff. There we go, that's all I need to know. Um, okay, we had two ways we can go, by the way. So after we get done going this way, I gotta remember to go the other way. Uh, Lou told me, uh, many things about the queen. I don't think she was a bad person. She was just attracted to the jewel. Okay. Am I supposed to, uh, know about the jewel? I don't think they mentioned that. This is a new play session, so maybe they mentioned it and I forgot. Uh, my name is Lou. I used to live, uh, with the inventor Dr. Leo. The blue stone I, uh, received from him is a strange jewel. It attracts anyone who looks at it and then changes their personality. If that person has a good mind, they will become a great person. If they have an evil mind, a evil mind, sorry, uh, they will become a bad person. It's like, well, they could have, like, worded it a little bit, like, better than that. <laughs> um, one day the queen found the jewel and took it, then she placed me in prison. Oh, man, looks like she was bad all along. Uh, please save the queen and get the blue stone back. I know this ring will help. Please take it. Alrighty. Uh, got the tundra wing. Okay, cool. I'm guessing we were supposed to talk to, uh, him first. That way when they mentioned the jewel, I know, like, which one they were talking about. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and put it on. Um... Item. Uh, right here. If you touch a lightning pyramid, lightning will strike. Uh, okay. It is kind of, actually kind of cool looking. I don't know, man. I gotta take off the defensey ring, though. Oh, god dang it. It just led to here. Okay, well, I thought we, like, thought we had two ways to go, but we only have one. Oh, I actually can't go past this person? And also, that did not lead to, like, an area with, like, enemies and generators and stuff. Um... Oh, god dang it. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, Luke can leave whenever he wishes, but, uh, but he never comes out. Maybe he likes that place. Huh, it was just weird. She was, like, floating for a second. Maybe that was a glitch. Oh, god dang. I was sitting here going, like, oh, man, we got, like, two ways to go. And then the one way was a dead end. It just led to the back end of the other way. Uh, was there... Was there, um, another way to go? Wait, was this, uh, was this mermaid here? This used to be the queen's palace. I'm the queen's maid. Okay, so maybe there was, uh, more things that got revealed. Okay, something's still gonna, probably like a building will appear there. It looks like the, uh, like the foundation of a building or something. Oh, ball's already stuck, yay. Um... Okay, BZ probably... You know what? Well, you never know. Okay, yes, yes, we know. Oh, wait, no, I know where to go. I forgot, at the end of the last episode, some of the, uh, the, like, the stone tablet thingies got removed. So let's, uh, let's go, uh, let's go there. There was, uh, there was one in the upper left and the upper right, I think, right? So let's, uh, go there. Okay, we're here in the upper right corner. The, uh, the upper left one was still there. For some reason, I thought that both of them were, um, were, like, unlocked or whatever. But, uh, that one was still there, so I guess we're going this way. Oh, man, oh, man. Uh, hello? Oh, I guess I gotta defeat a guy before another guy pops up. Well, he was, like, really far away, so I didn't think that that enemy was associated with that one, or with that, um, with that generator. Release an angel fish. Alright. He's very small and blends in, so hopefully I'll remember, because I might not see him. I'm just, like, passing by. Oh my gosh. Oh. I saw all the damages. I thought that was me, but that was his, uh, thing. Oh, hello. I don't know, man. The, uh, the sword swing, like, the arc on the sword swing is very generous, which is nice, but it does kind of make it, like, kind of easy to just stand 
in a spot where they can't hit you and just like spam uh spam the attack or whatever and you get you can uh, take out the dudes and they can't take you out I mean it's it's fine but but it does make it like kind of easy and then plus like 50 dudes come out of the things so it does result in like a bit more like waiting just waiting for the next guy to pop out it does like take a while to kill like all the dudes uh oh my gosh Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna need some kind of something to resist the flow. Uh, maybe or maybe not. Oh man. Uh, oh by the way, the um. Oh hello. I'm watching over the world here. Take this. Received experience. All right, cool. I don't know. 300 seems uh kind of wimpy. For this late in the game. Well, I say this late in the game. We're still, uh... We're still, like, uh... Are we not even halfway through? Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, the description for this game says says that there are six worlds. And we're only on, like, the second one, I think, right? So if that's the case, we might not even be, like, halfway done with the game. But even, even this... Even, uh, at this point, 300 still doesn't seem like that much. Uh, okay, I'm guessing it's gonna make that uh, rock disappear. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Um, oh, it just leads to here, so I can go back around. Well, you know, I was unsure if. Um, yeah, see, I was about to say. I wonder if there was like a spot that I missed. Let's go ahead and grab this while we're here. Okay, well, you know, I'm not using the. Um, the, uh, the lightning thing. So let's go ahead and put the shield jam back on. I gotta keep an eye out for lightning pyramids is, I guess. Okay, another angel fish. Alright. I kind of wish they stood out from the, uh, from the blueness a little bit better, but... Man, still got four more. Oh man, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, yesterday was uh, uh, Friday or whatever was the uh, was the last day or whatever of uh, some of the employees I work with. Uh, they did that layoff that I mentioned in the other episode. Okay, so this is the rainy area. I remember seeing this on the uh, world map. So, uh, so yeah, so no more, Mister. Uh, more Mr. Annoying Guy. I don't know. Well, I kind of feel bad because, like, it's one thing if someone is, like, annoying and then, and then they're just, like, annoying, but, like, he's not inherently annoying. Like, he just, like, does and says things that annoy me specifically, you know? Like, everyone's got their own, like, little pet peeves. There are things that bug them that, like, don't bug, like, other people necessarily. And he just like hits the he just like hits like the wrong uh things with me or whatever. Oh, are these uh py the pyramid jams? They don't really really look like pyramids, but I mean maybe maybe like this is maybe like this maybe like this is what the game is gonna call them. But uh, well, one of my pet peeves that he does. He's got this really, like, um, he's got this, like, kind of, uh, I don't know. Well, like, I'm not, like, making fun of, like, his voice, but the way his voice is, like, we, like it's a factory, so we all have to wear earplugs, and so his voice is, like, hard to hear. It doesn't, like, project very well, so he's kind of got this kind of, he's kind of close like this, you know? Which is fine, which obviously, like I said, I'm not making fun of his voice, but the reason I say that is because, um, like, you can't freaking hear him if he's more than, like, a couple feet away. And then what's annoying is that then when I can't hear him, then I go, what? Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. So does that attack enemies or something? I mean, I could just swing my sword at him. 
Okay, so I at least know what that does. I don't know why I need to do that, though. Is it going to be necessary for some kind of progress or something? Yeah, I don't know. But, like, he'll, he'll like, look at you and he'll be like... And I'll be like, what? And he'll be like... I'll be like, what? And he's like... And I'm just like, dude, if I say what, that means say it louder, dude. But, like, every time you say what, he'll... He'll repeat it at the exact same volume. And that, that's one of my pet peeves. When I say what, that means I didn't hear you. That means say it fucking louder, dude. And he like, doesn't say it louder the second or third or fourth time. I'm just like, dude, like, like I just I, I just can't understand like what makes people think that when they say what, why would you not think that that would mean to not say it louder? Why would you say it at the exact same volume over and over again? I don't get it. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Like that, that one actually gets on my nerves. Cause some people's, um, some people's voice just like doesn't like carry very well, and we all have to wear earplugs. So there are people that are just like hard to hear. So there are times where you're saying what, and then when someone says what, you say it louder. Except if you're him, and then you like don't understand the concept. For some reason, like, I, I don't know, I don't get it. Like, that, that that's actually a pet peeve. Uh, okay, so there's still another thingy somewhere. I already checked all these rocks, I think, right? And also, like, I don't know, I, like, he's only, like, 23, so maybe he's not, like, fully developed yet or something but there's like I don't know how to say it but I guess I have the whole episode to describe it but have you ever had it where people like state things out loud that like don't need to be said like I know it sounds weird but I'll give you an example like uh, there was this one time well basically I work in a boat motor factory and um, so I put this I put this part on I put the gear case on a boat motor, and basically it's this thing that has this like long pull on it called the drive shaft. And I also put a coupler inside the motor. And uh, at one point, he sees me. He sees me standing, and like and like uh, I was standing like close to the motor or whatever. And he thought that I put the coupler in from the other side, like like I'm standing on like the back side of the motor, you know. And I guess he thought that I normally stand on the other side of the motor to put the coupler in. So he made a comment. He's like, he's like, oh, don't you normally put the coupler in from the other side? Because you have to like, you have to like reach your hand like into the motor. And so he thought that I was standing on the other side than I normally do to put the coupler in. And it's like, even if that's true, why would you need to like point that out? That I stood on the opposite side of the motor than I normally do to put the coupler in. And then also, what he also did not realize is that the reason, well, he, he must have not seen me put the coupler in. He just saw me like, like, uh, like close to it, like on the opposite side as normal. Turns out what I was actually doing was I was inspecting the motor because I accidentally hit the motor with, okay, so I need magic on this guy. I'd accidentally hit the motor with the tip of the drive shaft so I was inspecting it to make sure that I didn't damage the motor. So he sees me standing in like a different place than I normally do. And then like, you know, like you put the coupler on like at the start or whatever. So he assumed that I was like standing in a different place to put the coupler on. You know, so I didn't want to like say that like, no, I didn't stand on the opposite side to put the coupler on. I was making sure that I did not damage the motor with the drive shaft, dude. But it's like, or you could have just seen what I did and then said nothing. That would have been like, that would have been a like okay thing to do. You could have just done that. So it's like that's kind of like that's kind of like one of like the unwritten rules about this place I work at. Like, like if you hear something that sounds like something striking the motor, and then you see someone inspecting the motor, no, you didn't, and no, you didn't. But yeah, so I'm just like, dude, there's there's a sort of like unwritten rule of like, dude, shut the fuck up. You know.
Okay, Master will send dudes to uh, destroy the thingies. Okay. Okay, so actually, this is actually telling you that you need the thing. All right, fair enough. It is nice that the game spelled it out for you. I don't know if this is required for progress to do all four of them and then do the middle. Or maybe you just have to do the middle. I don't know. The fact that it's surrounded by all this, like, different tile makes it seem significant or something. Oh, I need it to destroy these invincible guys. Okay. Oh, also the perspective worked in my favor. Oh, you also don't have to press up against him. Wait. Okay, so it's just every couple of seconds, I guess. Okay, fair enough. All right, come on, gentlemen. So I don't know that that like that like pissed me off when he freaking did that. I was like, dude, mind your own freaking business, dude. Like, don't freaking worry about it. And there was this other time. I don't know, there's like a couple of things that he did that just like really, really pissed me off. Like, you can only do so many things that really piss someone off before they'll actually just like not like you. I'll open the passage for you. Uh, return to me. Okay, so I gotta remember to go back to the four uh, statues or whatever. Okay, still got two left. There was this other time where I was bitching about the pick lights. It's these stupid things that... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Whatever, like, I've, I've talked about pick lights before, but, like, every time I talk to him, I have to, like, explain what a pick light is. Basically, I, I thought I killed that guy. Maybe this, maybe this is one of those guys that, like, respawns. And they don't count towards the generators. Oh, you know what? They It doesn't, because they, uh, they aren't... There isn't, like, a nearby generator that they're associated with. See, there's this fish guy. I was, you know, I was thinking, I was like, oh, I, did, I thought I killed that fish already. Okay, so we got rocky dudes over Shmia. The rock guys count, right? I don't remember seeing the, uh, the generator, though. It's down in the corner. Oh, there we go. But basically what happens is that anytime something is, like, assembled incorrectly, if it happens enough times, they'll put a pick light next to the part. And then uh, it's just a button that lights up when you get to that step. And then you're supposed to press the button. And then that allows you to, like, do, like, the next step. And then the problem is that my station is such a pain in the ass. My station is so hard that um, that it has like tons of pick lights and stuff. And the reason there's tons of pick lights is because because the station is so hard that like the person on the station is wait did I did I uh, like finish uh, doing the thing with this generator? Oh, it, I did. It just opened this up. What was the point of that though? Still one more somewhere. But the station that I'm on is so much harder than all the other stations that uh, there's a lot of like pressure on that state on that station or whatever. So the person on that station like has to like work like faster to like try to keep up while everyone else can just kind of go at like a at like a like a lackadaisical pace and keep up. Whereas, like, you gotta go, like, balls to the wall. Like, you gotta go, you gotta move at, like, a frantic pace to keep up. So, because there's so much pressure, then you're more likely to, like, make mistakes and, like, forget stuff. So, then what sucks is that then, you know, like, the... Gosh, okay, I'm, I know I'm getting low on life, so I gotta be careful. So, then the freaking, like, engineers, the quality people... What they should do is what they should they should go okay we have a lot of mistakes on this station and the station is really hard so we should balance the station so that it's easier because all the stations are supposed to be balanced in the first place because it's it's an assembly line so all the stations are supposed to take about the same amount of time that way the line can like 
um, can like run smoothly or whatever. Because if you got one station that takes way longer to do, then it just creates a bottleneck, which then, which then like affects the entire line. Like when you when you're on an assembly line, the entire line can only move at the speed of the slowest station. So you got this like bottleneck station. Uh, okay, well that didn't do anything. What's the point of doing that? I don't get it, man. I am free to go though. So you got this one station that's like broken. It's like unbalanced. And so that per the person on that station has to work. He's like working like like from behind the eight ball like all day. And so when you have like that much pressure on you or whatever, you're gonna make more mistakes. And so what they should do is they should say, okay, let's make this station like not as hard so that uh, so that it's like more like fair and balanced or whatever. But instead what they do is they go, oh, they keep, they keep making this mistake. Let's put this pit light on it, which then to make sure that they don't make the mistake. But the problem is, is that the pit lights actually slow you down so, so the pick lights actually like make the problem worse. It's it's one of those things. Like anyone that's worked at a giant corporation will tell you that like a lot of times the solutions it just like creates another problem or it doesn't really fix the problem. It creates like it solves the surface level problem, but then it creates like another problem or it like it doesn't it, like like it it fixes the problem on paper, but then it doesn't equate to like actually fixing it like in the real world. Oh man, I need this heal. So like on paper, it seems like that would fix the problem, but it's like, well, now you're just putting more pressure on the person because now you just added more like work to them. Like now you added like a thing that like, that like takes more time to do. So now they're under more pressure. So now they're gonna like make more mistakes. Like it like the button is just like a thing that you just have to press just to be able to go to the next step. I didn't know uh, the world underwater looked different from the world above. Oh, they actually used uh, different from correctly. I don't know. I do use it sometimes, but there are there are times where like just we're just saying different le uh, different than. It still seems to like make more sense. Uh, I'm the best jumper. I'll show you. Ah. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, okay, is that all he does? Uh, okay, cool, dude. So there's like, at this point, there's like so many pick lights that it's just like, it's just like confirming that you're like grabbing all the right parts or whatever, but it's like, well, if you do it, uh, like one, sure. Really rare, I can't give you many. Well, can you give me one? Probably can't give me one. Yeah, I know the game only lets you have one, but it, it kind of doesn't make sense. The lady at the tool shop can give me one, and then this mermaid should be able to give me one. She doesn't know that the tool shop lady already gave me one. Okay, so that's what that unlocked. Oh, mermaid statue, I forgot. Uh, hello. I'll open the passage for you. Go up left along the seabed, and you will find a ghost ship. All right, cool. I thought the ghost ship was in the lower left corner from the uh, world map, but maybe not. Okay, let's go to that. All right, in we go. So imagine like, oh, I was about to say, what the hell is that noise? So imagine if you work at like McDonald's and then like, and you gotta make like a quarter pounder, you grab the bun and now you gotta hit the button to indicate that you grabbed the bun. And then it's like, okay, now grab the patty. And then you grab the patty and it's like, oh, you gotta hit the button to confirm that you grabbed the patty. You're like, yeah, I grabbed the patty, dude. Like, I know how to make a quarter pounder. I've worked here for like seven years. I know how to make a freaking quarter pounder. And then like, and then like a button appears on the cheese. You gotta hit the button. Well, you just gotta make sure that you put the cheese on it. It's like, dude, I know how to make a quarter pounder with cheese, dude. So imagine that on like every single quarter pounder for like every ingredient you grabbed, imagine you had to like hit a button to like confirm that you grabbed the ingredient. Like that would be the most annoying thing in the fucking world. And that's what I have to do like for real. Like it's so annoying on like every single one. And anyway, the point, the reason I bring it up is because there was one day where I was just like bitching about it. And like everyone that works there knows that the pick lights are like a giant like pain in the ass. And then what sucks 
is that one person, like different people do the stations. Like, you know, people kind of come and go and they, people get like moved around and they bid to other ships and they go to other departments or whatever. What'll happen is like someone will, someone will like forget a part like 50 times. They'll put a pit light on it and then they'll leave. And then someone else will come and uh, and take over on the station. And the pit light is still there, even though the person that made the mistakes or whatever is gone. They leave the pit light there. So every time they add a pick light, it's just there forever. It's like it's like if there was like accidents and uh and like driving like crashes or whatever, and then they put a stoplight, and then all the people that were involved in the accidents like move out of the state. It's like okay, well they're gone, but now everyone for the rest of eternity has to deal with that stoplight being there. But it's like well the people that caused it to be there are gone, you know. So it's freaking annoying. Wait, what is this? Oh, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, save while we're here. So the station that I'm on is so freaking hard that like a bunch of people have like been on it. Like they'll, they'll put people on it and then be like, okay, well, this, like you're not, you know, like they're nice about how they word it, but they're like, okay, well, let's, you know, you might be a better fit somewhere else or this isn't working out or whatever, you know? Oh, I, I, thought, I thought it looked like a fuse or something. I was like, why is there like a giant fuse? Okay, well, let's check around. Oh, we got one more. Okay, we could probably get it before we go to the uh, to the actual ship. Maybe it's on this like left side because I think it went right from when I uh, from where I started. I think right when we first came to this area. So like by the time I got to the station, there had been like a number of other people over the years that had done that station. So, like, statistically, like, if you put enough people on a station, eventually everything's gonna get forgotten at some point by somebody at some point in time. So the next thing you know, you just gotta sit there and freaking play Simon to, like, build the freaking motor. You're just sitting there, hit, grab the thing, hit this one, grab the thing, hit this one, or whatever. And then sometimes the button doesn't even, you have to press the button until the light, like, turns off. And sometimes, like, the button doesn't, like, turn off, and the station is so hectic that a lot of times you have to like press the button and then right after you press it you move on to the next thing and then sometimes you'll go to the next thing and then it'll take you a while to realize that the button didn't even like activate even though you put your finger on it just like you did all the other times it's sometimes it's like janky sometimes okay so what did that do i didn't even look i wasn't paying attention i did uh let me just confirm that i did uh that I did, uh, like, activate the, uh, like, I, I did stepped on the thing, right? Okay, what did that do? Actually, don't know. But, uh, okay, we got all the things, so let's hit up the, uh, the pirate ship. Or the ghost ship, or whatever. Alrighty, what do we got? Uh, oh man. Oh man, the torches are alive! And you can kill them, apparently. Uh, you can kill them temporarily, apparently. All right. So, if you, so like, people will just, like, come on the station, mess everything up. Like, they'll mess up, like, over and over again, cause there to be a pick light to exist. They'll install the pick light, and then they'll just, like, leave. And now the next guy has to hit that pick light on every single fucking motor because of what the other guy forgot. One gem, what? So, at this point... Like you'll, like, you'll just have, like, the one guy that just can't remember the coupler. And then, like, a different guy just, like, can't remember the muffler. And then, like, another guy just can't remember to put the the right nut on. We got, like, two different kinds of nuts that we put on. So, you gotta hit the pick light to make sure that you grab the correct nut and not the wrong kind. So, between, like, all these different things... Okay, let me see if this wheel, uh, doesn't... Okay. I wasn't sure if the wheel would, uh, do anything. I was pretty sure it wouldn't since we can't like stand directly in front of it because it's like in between two tiles, but I just wanted to check. So by the time I get to the station, like I gotta hit all these freaking pit lights that other people caused to be there. And they're not even like there anymore. Uh hello. What the hell? Oh man, this guy is like a uh like a oh man, what's the term for it? I forget what the what the term is. There's a term for where they have, like, multiple health bars. You have to wear it out. And then there's, like, another color of health bar, like, beneath it. I do have the, uh, shield thing on, right? Okay, just wanted to check.
Okay, so these take a lot of hits, so maybe these will not respawn. Okay, magic does not work, and the hands do respawn. God dang it. And they take a lot of hits. Wow. Oh my gosh, this might be a hard fight. I'm already predicting that this might be a hard fight. God damn. Well, he is so fast. You almost have to anticipate him, like, coming after you. Because once he's moving towards you, you, you do not have enough time to, like, get out of the way. You're just, like, not fast enough. Oops, don't walk into the guys, please. Okay, so this is just a boss. This at least is not a very large area. But to my point, the reason I brought up the pick lights is there was one day that I, I was just like bitching about the pick lights. It was just like extra getting on my nerves that day or whatever. Probably because the pick lights were probably like not activating like properly over the course of like a long period of time. You know, I was just like getting, I was just like over it, you know. So I was bitching to him about the freaking pick lights and he just goes, well, you know, they just want to make sure the right part's going on the motor. And I was just like, dude, fuck you, man. Like, do you get an extra paycheck for slobbing the company's knob? Like, nobody likes the pick lights. Like, don't go to bat for the fucking company, dude. Like, everyone knows that the pick lights are utter total bullshit. Like, don't be the one guy that's, like, defending it. Like, dude, like, oh my god, I was so fucking mad at him when he said that. Okay, so I think there's, like, a spot where I can stand. He seems to go to, like, the same place every time. If I stand, like, here, I think it's, like, lower jaw. Maybe can't uh, touch you. Okay, so I think maybe like here. Okay, so... Wait, how come it's not using my herb? Power base, so that your attack power will double. Oh man, okay, that might, that might be useful. Okay, so I think you have to have it equipped. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the shield jam back on. I don't know, man. I feel like I need the, the more defense uh, more uh, for this fight. Okay, it does still hit you, but I think I can outlast him. Just need uh, one more cycle. There we go. Got him. Okay, so he has it. He uh, he has like a fixed movement pattern. That's the key to uh, to taking out that guy. You can't. Um, you just have to know where he goes. I release the queen. All right, cool. So you can't get out of the way. You just have to know where he moves and just make sure that you're not there. A beautiful voice came from inside the palace. I am the mermaid queen. I know not who you are, but thank you for releasing me. Where were they, by the way? Like, where are they when they're not? Uh, like, before you return them, where are they? Um, please return to the palace. Okay. But, dude, when he said that, that was, like, the worst thing you could have said at that moment. I was so, like, furious at him. I'm just like, dude, like, don't even fucking say that, dude. That was, like, like that was, like, so not cool to, like, say that. Like, the, like, I don't know. The pick lights are one of those things... That, like, no one will ever defend. That was just, like, flabbergasted. That he, like, defended it. I'm like, no, dude. Like, do not defend that. Don't you dare. Do not you dare defend that. Oh, man. Yeah, that was bad. That was, like, that was, like, one of, like, the, like, the defining moments. It was kind of, like, like, from that moment on. Like, that plus the other thing. Those two things that I talked about. Were like the two things that are just like that made me like put him on like the list of people that I just like don't like. Which I mean, which yeah, I don't know. There is that part of me that kind of feels like bad because, like I said, like he's not like inherently annoying, but he just like pissed me off like twice. But I don't think it's because he's inherently annoying. He just, like, didn't know to, like, not say those things, you know? So. Oh, see, that, that's the reason why I'm, like, kind of torn. Like, obviously, I, like, feel like... I don't know. You ever have it where someone's annoying, but then, like, you feel bad about being annoyed? 
by them, you know, because you kind of know that they're not doing it on purpose. They're not doing it to be annoying. They're not like intentionally being annoying for the purpose of being an annoying person. They just come off as annoying, but then he's just like, he's just like, uh, he's just like, like naive or whatever. Okay, what do we got? I've heard about you uh, from Lou. You are the one who saved me. Everything started when I saw the jewel that Lou had, but one glance at the blue stone caused desire and hatred to overwhelm me. Well, you should have had a good heart and it wouldn't have happened. Right after that, the creatures disappeared and the monsters took over. Uh, maybe because we let bad feeling dominate us, we created the monsters ourselves. I mean, did you do that? Why? Why would you do that? I mean, you could have just been a good person and, and none of this would have happened. Uh, please travel to other regions and release all creatures. Okay, so we got the thing. Um, it's actually nice that uh, this time it specifically told me to like go to a new area. Maybe in that first area where I didn't know to go to the second area, maybe it did tell me and I just like uh, like scrolled past the text without reading it or something. Maybe I was talking about something. I don't know. Um, okay, well let's take a sneak peek before we end it. I know we got a long episode, but let's at least take a take a look, see a little peeky poo. Uh, oh, okay, so the pirate ship is in the upper left corner. I don't know, for some reason I thought it was in the, uh, bottom left. Oh man, okay, so what are, what are those curtain-looking things supposed to be? Is it supposed to be, like, Northern Light equivalent of something? Also, what is that weird giant jewel thingy up there? Is that where we're gonna fight the final boss, maybe? Okay, well, this area is not very cool-looking, to be honest. It's just, like, uh, like, snowy, uh, mountainy, cliffy area. It's like, okay. Alright, what do we got? Uh. Okay, it's very brown and gray. Uh, oh, it's a torch. On the bottom lower wall or whatever. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, okay, what do we got? Okay, so this is what the world map looked like. Okay, so it's like a cave, like internal... Uh, inner area or whatever. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing this is where all the things are gonna appear. There's like nothing here. But uh, anyway, yeah, I know it's a long episode, but um, this is a good stopping point, and I didn't want to stop. Like, I, I wanted to at least look at the um, the pirate ship. I didn't know it was gonna be a boss, so that's why I ended up taking longer. Otherwise, I was just gonna like uh, poke my head inside. But um, okay, so next time we're gonna go to the place and do the thing. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.